blessings before this wonderful message from my father in the lord late archbishop bensi idaosa i'd like to share information about anointedtube.com with you the number one christian video sharing website today anointedtube.com this is a powerful site believed to be the top most Christian video sharing website in the world today. It is ranked as one of the best video sharing website according to available data. It hosts videos of preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from all around the world. You can as well share our video on all social media platforms. The World Database of Christian Precious, positively touching and changing lives around the world. It is a great Christian video sharing website. The Lord bless you. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. me to be
above the cloud. See a light breaking through the cloud. Jesus is not far away from your tossed sheep. He never waits until you sink before he arrives. So your boat may shake your boat may almost sink, but faithful is he that calls. He will kill us. Everybody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. The sheep will not sink because the master is going to appear. Maybe it's your marriage sheep being tossed right now. Maybe it's your financial sheep that is at mercy. But God has told me to tell you. Because I'm on the mountain. And because I sent you. How many of you know God sent you here? I said, how many of you know that God sent you here? That's why you are not one of the multitudes. The multitudes are right now on the streets. The disciples are inside. Somebody say amen. amen. Men of God, God knew you before he called. He marked you that you could face the storm. Even when you cry loud and about to die, he who called you will stand in the way. Sometimes, sometimes, the wind gets so mysterious that when we see 
Jesus, we think he's a ghost. That's mine. I have seen many ghosts several times. And I love this part of it. The Bible said, when Peter finally saw Christ, he said, if it be thou, bid me come. And Peter jumped down and walked towards him. But midway, another midway, he began to sing. This is the only English in the Bible that I'm going to tell the writers to correct it when we get to heaven. You and I have begun many times to sing, but we've never sung. Are you hearing me? Anyone that God has given grace to begin to sing when Jesus is around, will never sing. I wish, I wish you are hearing what I'm saying. You can only sing when Christ is far away. When Jesus asks you to jump down, you may begin to sink, but you never sink. God told us, build me a cathedral of the Holy Spirit. Build me houses for the needy. Turn Chapel Hill around. Do a walk in Georgia, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. <laughs> Let us join hand with a constraining master, resign from being one of the multitude. Join the one that God is telling today. Get to the boat. Let's go over to the other side. This ministry has just started. Bigger school is coming. Bigger churches are coming. We can't sink when we have not reached the other side. You may cry and die if you like. No man that God sent to the other side sinks with sea. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Sit down. Sit down. I said sit down. There's no man that God told go to the other side that goes under. You can never go under when you are going over. Jesus said, go over. Everybody say over. Go. To the other side. In your effort to go to the other side. At midway of your vision, expect the way. Expect the storm. But ask yourself these five questions. Why has the wind come? against me. Many times, the devil wants you to think you are doing the wrong thing. I know you and I are almost the same person. The greatest time I get God's visitation in my life is storm time. When I have storms, I see God. Why do we see storms midway? Number one, the devil wants to give up distraction. 
He wants to distract you from where you are going. He wants to tell you you are doing too much. He wants to tell you you are too much in hurry. The devil forget that God told you whatever you find to do, do it quickly. If he can distract you, he can direct you. Did you hear me? I said, did somebody hear me? If the devil can distract you, he can direct you. But if you do not allow him to give you distraction, he will never give you direction. Is somebody hearing me this morning? God is saying, yes, there is storm. Yes, there is wind. But look out for Jesus. He is coming to me in the midst of my storm. Reason number two. Why the devil brings down midway is to force you to lose sight of where you are going. He knows that when storm comes, you are going to panic. He said, I said, oh God, you are going to say, oh me. And oh me never brings result. Amen does. I say amen does. Amen is better than all me. All God is better than all bank. God, you heard that. The cameraman heard that. God is with you in the face of all stones. Five reasons why the devil brings stuff at midway. Number one, to cause distraction. Number two, to force you lose sight. Number three, to give you choice to turn back. And faith trip, faith way, have no backward steps. When you choose to go with God, the ladder he places you have no downward steps. You didn't hear me. I have had more opportunities to quit the ministry than anyone on earth. Every time I finally say, yeah, that, that's all I'm waiting for. This is the last straw that broke the camel's back. God says to me, where's the camel? gone too far, remember you are midway. If you take the same energy to go back as to go forward, say midway. Yes. Do you hear what I'm saying? Midway. Yes. If you are midway, think. Midway. Midway. Coming from there, going here, midway. Now the devil said, go back. Measure the trip again. Say midway. Yeah. Instead of using the last energy to go to where I'm coming from, why not use the same energy to go to where I'm going? Thank you. One person had it there. Forward is a call to the church. Forward is the voice of God to the church. If the devil asks you to come back, tell him it's too late. I 
Bible was saying, it's too late. I know too much. Now, to go back. No going back. Say no going back. Why are no going back? Pastors, no going back. Church, no going back. Hallelujah. Don't go back. Because you are midway. Reason number four. Why the devil challenge you midway is for you to think you miss God. I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's God who asked me to build this big cathedral. We, we are right in where we are. We are building millions and millions when nobody was complaining. When you say that, you forget you have done the seeming impossible. When man says it could not be done, God says it can be done. You didn't miss God. You missed the devil. Because it's alive. A dead job doesn't face trouble. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Every time people come to me, they say, Papa, Papa, I need prayer. I say, What for? They say, I'm passing through trouble. I say, Go ahead. I say, Son, that's the right word. Go through. Go ahead. If you are passing through, go on. You heard what I said. I said, you heard what I said. How many of you have been passing through trouble? How many of you have passed through trouble? That's the gift of God. To pass through and not die is good. Hallelujah. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures, click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Through fire. If you pass through the waters, 
you will not die. I see a new church coming from. Devil, watch out. If you think you've ever seen anything, the best is yet to come. Say hallelujah. Reason number five. Why the devil wants you to face down in the middle of the sea is so that you pay no cost. You pay no price. People who are not willing to pay any price for the gospel, we have no crown. If Christ be God, where's the artist? Write it. Write it for me. I want it somewhere in this church. If Christ be God and died for me, no price is too much for me to pay for him. Faith is not Christian Luther. It's not Christian logic. It's not gambling. Faith is life. And my Bible says, fight the good fight of faith. And Paul says, I fought a good fight. God wants you to pay a price of appreciation. When you swim out of trouble, that's a price. When you give tithe and offering, that's a price. When you work for the kingdom, that's a price. When you join God doing something, that's a price. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. When my daughter came out just now among the team that won, that fought for championship, my heart was delighted. Many want to win without fighting. Champions are those who fight. Winners are those who took part in something. Ruth is getting scholarship to read law because she jumped up and put something in the basket. I didn't know how to jump or root to jump. She's brilliant in class and good in sports. Nobody says I win when you fight the battle. Don't make Christianity too cheap. I pray people hear what I'm saying. I'm flying back to Florida to fly back to London tomorrow because God asked me to come and tell you what I'm telling you. Don't be distracted. Don't lose your vision. Don't turn back. You haven't missed God. Pay some price. And your sheep will not sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Finally. <laughs> oh God. Finally. Jesus appeared. Walked on the water that was tossing them. The Holy Spirit told me this morning. Every wave that took you up, God is going to put his leg on it. Somebody hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Make it a personal covenant for yourself. Every storm that lifted your ship up, 
God is going to put his leg on top of that water. Are you hearing me? Jesus is coming towards you. One day, my bishop, I was in the seven day prayer and fasting. The last day, I lay flat on the floor in tears. I said, God, all other churches that started before us, the press doesn't say anything about them. They don't make any noise about them. They, they go on air and say, good memorial service was held in the church yesterday. I said, but for us, they write against me. They talk against me. And I heard God say, do you want to be like them? I said, yes, Lord. He said, you didn't hear what I said. Do you want to be like one of them? I said, e uh, as excuse me. <laughs> he said, dead hen, do not hatch fresh eggs. Dead hens, don't hatch fresh eggs. He said, show me one ministry in Africa that has established 6,814 churches in 17 years. Show me one church that have got 7 million members in 17 years. The day you are free from trouble, be ready to wear your crown. And he said, are you ready? I said, no, sir. How many of you want to die this morning? I can kill you right now. Is there anybody who wants to die this morning? Raise your hand. Let me kill you right now. God said to me, at every stage of the ministry, when storm come, look out for me. I'm coming to you and not the devil. Can somebody say amen to that? Amen. What are you facing this morning? Do you have any crisis in life? The master that steals the tempest is coming. Jesus, the stealer of the tempest, the quencher, a big storm is on the way to you, to you, to you, to you, to you, to you, to you. The tempest will not last. They will not break before your storm stops. It's going to stop. And the Lord said to me, do you want to be like them now? I said, no, sir. He said, go forward. Everybody say, go forward. Oh. I have been in the United States now. Two weeks. I'm going tomorrow. I've got telephone call nine times from the governor. And three presidential candidates have booked an appointment with my secretary to see me when I arrive. Because I did not die midway. <laughs> Presidents don't give certificate to churches that die.
Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Look at verse 31 with me. Immediately, Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the sheep, the wind ceased. Stand up with me. I don't know why you left home. But God brought you here. I say God brought you here. Amen. Every storm in your life. Every wave in your life. I can see God stretching his hands. And saying to you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Say with me, God is with me. God is with me. Say it again. God is with me. I'm not sinking. I'm rising up. 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 Make it your song from today. My ship is not sinking. I'm rising up. I have wondered many times. The water was below Jesus' feet. He was walking on the water. Why did the water not toss him? Hear me. Hear me. The wave tossed the ship. Jesus had no sheep. Why did the wave not toss him? He's a master over troubled water. And the master of the troubled water is the one that gave you this assignment. Yeah. Yeah. He gave you this job. He called you. Yes. The water was getting up. Don't complain. Every water in your life has rise, right to rise up. But the man who sent you on an errand He's going to put his leg on top of it. <laughs> He's going to say to every wave, You see my servant? I sent him to the other side. And I'm going to meet him <laughs> in the middle of the sea. <laughs> Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. <laughs> say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, Bishop. It's too late. It's too late. Don't go back. You've known too much. To go back. The master is too close to you now to turn to the storm. Turn to him with your tempest. And my Bible said, and they arrived. Everybody said they arrived. They Say it louder. They God never 
sends you in an errand you will never arrive. It's true. We still need some millions to finish the cathedral. We will arrive. The wind will soon cease. Because Jesus, 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 I said Jesus, Jesus is stretching his hands to you and to me. Heaven have just responded. I see with my two eyes your marriage term season, your business term season. And I want to plead with you, sir. Please, this is my application. Don't let these saints agree that there is recession. God told me only those who turn their back to God have I believe this message is blessing you. Please visit and share videos on anointedtube.com the world database of Christian preachers to help us reach 100 million people. The message continues after this video about anointed you. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the homepage and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures, click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. We say we have God who supplies all our needs according to 
riches in glory. Hallelujah. No recession. No recession. The world, the world have recession. But the saints have reservation. My God and your God ask me to tell you. Change your mouth. Bless yourself. Call to be the things that be not as if they were and it shall be so. The righteous and the unrighteous are not the same. He that keepeth Jerusalem is watching over you. The sparrows still have food. The lilies of the valley still have food. And your God will supply your needs. I want all of you there to come here with me. I want all of you there to come here with me. We are going to pray agreement prayer. The storm is over. I said the storm is over. Join hand with someone there. Your ship shall arrive. Every sickness and disease in your body. It's destroyed by the hand that God stretched. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Sickness, leave now. Pain, go now. This is a leave now. Fear, go now. In the name of Jesus, come out. Right now. Right now. Right now. Whom the Son of God set free. Is free indeed. In the name of Jesus, your head is healed, your eyes healed, your neck healed, your chest healed, your womb healed, your feet healed. In Jesus' name, you are healed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Heal, 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 heal. You are set free in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 This message and a collection of other messages are available at Evo Media Services. Evo Media Services, inspirational, world class production. For devil's children to kneel before you. What you find on earth can be found in heaven. If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven. Oh my God! Everybody shout hallelujah! Hot Bishop B. He the host of Man of Faith. with you sincerely from the depth of my heart please reject slavery if any man try to force you to think back tell him forgetting the things that are past I press forward point your hand say I press forward vote for righteousness 
die back in light than to be promoted in darkness. Did you hear what I said? When you support light and they kill you, be happy you died for light than to have promotion in darkness. How many will say amen? For hundreds of years, our people were told back home, be satisfied at where you are. And when God raised me, said, challenge that. The man that asks you to be happy that you are a slave is a killer. A man that tells you to be happy that he's going to give you a loaf of bread does not believe in tomorrow. And you must do, I repeat, do your utmost best to fight whatever will refer your mind backward. The God of peace himself give you peace himself always by himself by all means, by himself. One day before I left, and God said, you are going to Atlanta. Go to your brother. Go to the saints to remind them my assignment. The church is on assignment. So lest you know this, except you understand that you are making a statement here. You are giving a witness. You may think you are a church member. If God was looking for church members, He had enough churches. Every vision that God gives is challenged at the beginning. But thank God. Thank God, in the mercy of our lives, Jesus appears. No wave, no storm is too much for you, for Jesus not to appear. Jesus is not far away from your cross.
collection of other messages are available at Iwo Media Services. Iwo Media Services, inspirational, world-class production. Listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Idausa is my father. My first encounter with uh, Archbishop Idausa, he was doing a big crusade uh, in the center of Accra, which is called Circle. He said, if your faith say yes, God cannot say no. 
It also is a man that believes with God, all things are possible. He had an unwavering faith. He had an unshaking faith. He had an unbreaking faith. He had faith in God. He saw God as he's talking to a faithful father. He saw God like his son will see a father who he trusts that is faithful. Whatever I ask my daddy to do, he will do it. That was a Dowser's level of faith, beyond man's uh, explanation. He had faith. Spiritual, a person, yet he was so human in nature. A man who reached out to everyone, the high and the low in society. A man who rubbed shoulders with presidents and the highest of dignitaries you can think of in society. I feel very blessed because the Lord has called me to preach the word of God in Africa and particularly in Nigeria. Um, I've been here with my husband 40 years now. Uh, it, it's a blessing and it's particularly been a blessing to work with Papa Idahosa and Mama Idahosa. When you talk about legacy, I remember traveling with Archbishop Idahosa to Kaduna for the consecration of Bishop Oyedepo. I think it's Faith Liberation Chapel. I remember it as if it is today. And uh, Archbishop said, we are going. And when we got to Benin Airport, uh, Okada, uh, that's chief, Igbenidion had given him an aircraft. So we flew from Benin City Airport to Kaduna. And I carried, and it was there he told, in the preach, he said, this is my son. At the point, at that time, I didn't really know Bishop Edipo. This must have been early in the 80s or something. And then many, a couple of weeks after, Bishop Edipo came to Church of God Mission Sunday evening service. And I remember the first message he preached. It was on the prodigal son. The man brought me out from the dungeon. Papa Idahosa was, he was a man full of energy and vision. Uh, he, he, he was always getting, moving on from one project to another. And often when he started a new project, we whites, we Oibos would say, why is he doing that? We couldn't see the vision at all. We thought, hmm, this is very funny. But then sometime later we would realize, oh yes, okay, I see why he's done that now. And I was a Muslim that I gave my life to Christ. In Ghana, there was this kind of freedom of worship. There were a lot of Muslims. And among those people that were the grace of God, I gave my life to Christ. And I wanted to go to Bible school when I felt the call of God upon my life. And unfortunately for me, at that particular time, with the Assemblies of God Ghana, there was no space for women to go to Bible school. So my pastor called me and said, he wants me to go to Nigeria and meet with Indahosa because there is a room in that particular ministry for women. And I traveled to Nigeria by the grace of God. On getting there, I met with the Archbishop, my first time of meeting the Archbishop in Dahosa of Church of God Mission International. What an awesome privilege it was to see this man of faith and boldness. I will never forget the Unicha Crusade. At that time, the head of state in Nigeria had passed the law that nobody should do open air crusades. And Archbishop said he went to pray and said, God, God, what they are saying, and God asked him, what do you want? He said, I want to do crusade. God said, go ahead and do your crusade. So he sent us, I was part of the uh, advanced team, to go and paste posters all over Odicha. And we went to put posters all over Odicha. And the first day of the crusade, a truckload of soldiers came. The man of faith, the man of prayer, the man of courage, the man of peace. And Archbishop mounted the platform. And, and the soldiers came with their guns. When Archbishop started preaching, they all put their guns down. When he made the altar call, they all raised their hands to receive Jesus as Lord and personal savior. 
and we stood there and the whole crusade was an eye opener for us. And right there, I decided I needed to go and know more from this man. Fortunately, he was offering scholarship for people who want to attend Bible school in Benin, All Nation for Christ Bible Institute. And so that particular year, I uh, requested, I wrote, and fortunately, I was invited to come. So uh, we went to Nigeria to begin uh, my class. Actually, I went there in 79. My class started in 1980. And uh, we went through the Bible training and it was powerful. We were all charged up. He started uh, the Word of Faith schools. He started the Christian Hospital, Faith Mediplex. He started Benson Hose University, all those. And well, he's, he's a man we can't, we can't forget. He was a great example to us. And I thank God. It's particularly good for us, whites, British, because in Britain, uh, people are rather skeptical these days. You'll not find many people who are really born again Christians. Um, people of faith are few in Britain. But if we can come here and our faith can be uh, increased, can be inspired, particularly by the things that Papa did, we are blessed. Let me share this. And I think for those who were around in Church of God Mission at that time, we traveled to Washington for Jesus. John Geminis went to Baltimore, flew to New York, and then flew to Lagos on Nigeria with 11 hours. And then we took Okada from Okada Air from Lagos to Benin City. It was bad weather. Brother, it was one turbulence I, I told God, as long as I'm alive, never let me face anything like this again in my travel. I'm sure Dausa and the wife Margaret were in the first class, which is only divided by a curtain, because it's a 90 seater plane. And we took off from Lagos to Benin. It was bad weather, raining cats and dogs. We rented a storm. There were Filipino pilots. And then they said that he has lost contact. The pilot said, listen, he has lost contact with Lagos. And so he doesn't know where he is. That is ridiculous. You are supposed to be taking us to Benin. So if you, the pilot, has lost contact and you don't know where you are and it's raining cats and dogs, what do you want us to do? And when I looked through the window, brother, I was sitting at the edge of my seat like this. I was shaking in my boots. I'd never been scared like that. I thought I was, I, it, it was a life and death situation. The plane would lose, dive, turn left, turn right. When I looked through the curtain, I was looking at the reaction of the Abishoy Daosa. We say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And then one time he stood up in the aircraft. He lifted his hand. I will never forget. He said, God, this is what he said. God, you called me. And you didn't say I would die in a plane crash. My mission is not finished. My assignment is not over. We call the enemy to order and command the devil to back up. Now you pilot, you better find out where you are and take us to our destination in the name of Jesus. And he sat down. Five minutes time, the pilot said, he has made contact with Port Harcourt. Listen to this. We are supposed to be doing 30 minutes from Lagos to Benin. And the pilot, we, we landed in Port Harcourt. So we were under, we have lost our way, we would have ended up in the sea. I will never forget. We landed in Lagos, it was still raining. That is where the testimony is. Mama, I was there, you can ask her. I told Papa, can I please go for bus? Because I was afraid, can we get a bus so we go to Benin? He said, no. James, you don't travel like I do. I must conquer the devil today in the air. I said, what is this? I was scared, I said, Papa, you want us to die? He said, James, if I don't conquer the devil, I will not be able to travel by air. Okada gave us his gold-plated aircraft. Chief Ibnidion, he called him. The plane rolled out from the hangar, and we went by air 
to be named. And that Sunday evening, he made me go to church and give a testimony. He said, Ghana boy. He calls me Ghana boy. I came and said, give them your testimony. You coward. <laughs> Another powerful miracle was when the witches in the whole world decided to come and have a meeting in Benin City. And Archbishop said, not when he's here. There won't be any such meeting. The chief priest then was summoned. His name, Chief Ebohon, because he was a representative of the witches then. And he said, the meeting, nobody, not even God could stop the witches from meeting. Then daddy said, or papa said, yes, God will not waste his time to stop you because I'm here to stop you. God has put me here to stop you. And guess what? That meeting never took place in Benin City. When you are with him one on one, you will feel an aura that defies definition. You know, it's as if you are in the presence of God, of a deity, of something that is beyond where you are. You know, uh, he never celebrated mediocrity. He never took no for an answer. He dared to go where nobody wants to go or everybody feared to go. He was a man that believed in venturing where others fear to venture. He was a trailblazer. I remember those days, for example, this television ministry that's becoming anything today. It also started it in 1974-75. I'm honored to have been one of his sons. And uh, by the grace of God, I think that um, that sign, wonder, anointing, and his boldness. I, was, I did a meeting for Dr. Maurice Cerullo in 2010. And just before I spoke in his world conference, they said, uh, oh, miracles don't happen in America because they have a lot of doctors. It happens in the third world. Well, when I took the microphone, I just shared my testimony. 23 cripples gave me their sticks and began to walk. Um, that kind of boldness to decree and declare, I took it from the late Archbishop. I believe in the transference of spirits, and I believe strongly, like God told Moses, I will take up the spirit that is upon you, and I will put it upon the 70. I'm one of the people who took of that spirit of signs and wonders from the Archbishop. Making a movie of the Archbishop will really, really help the next generation. Because the young preachers and the young ministers that are coming up have no clue of who he was. It, I mean, he will still be preaching and cripples will start walking. Um, that was an awesome man of faith. I remember whilst we were in school, he went to visit and it was shown on TV. Um, he went to visit Kenneth Copeland. And when he got there, they, he was supposed to have gone the previous day, but he arrived late. So they announced, when they announced that the Archbishop in the Hosa has arrived, six cripples got out of their wheelchairs. That is how anointed uh, Papa was. We must keep his legacy alive. In the Hosa is dead to some people, but to us, to me, in the Hosa lives. Hello, I am Bishop Margaret Benson Idahosa, the wife of the late Archbishop Benson Idahosa that did wonders while he was on earth here. Early in the morning when I rise, I will lift up my eyes. Now let me let you know how I got to meet him. You know, in those early years, he used to ride his bicycle 
with some trash going from street to street and one of it was my street. And every time he comes, we call him pastor. Pastor, he was young then, about 21 or 22. He was very, very young, but he didn't mind. He was not ashamed of the gospel because he knew that that was the power of God in his life. And, and one of these days, he was riding past and people were crying in my house. What's up? <laughs> And he just stopped, brought his, brought his uh, small little Bible out and came in, just uh, uh, with it through the crowd. And he came and I said, ah, Pastor, please, today is not like any other day. Somebody just died. <laughs> and the people say, Ah, I have been riding my bicycle all through. Till this time it was about four o'clock. And I want to raise somebody. I say, he please, I beg you. Don't don't make a mockery of your God. He said, No, 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 no. I want to wake him up because God has told me in the book. Then he opened the book and read it that uh, uh, behold, I have given you power to tread upon serpent, to tread upon scorpions and to raise the dead and I said listen don't make a mockery of yourself the kingdom of heaven is at hand heal that sick raise the dead I said what I beg what did I talk Benson, you mean what you say that we can raise dead person? Yes, absolutely. Have you raised dead person before? Uh, no. Why? What you say I can do it? Yes. In the name of Jesus. He said, no, 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 come and show me where the baby was. So I said, okay. I took him to the room where the baby was lying. It, it was she. She was about uh, three years old, three or four, four years old then. And I said, "Listen, this baby died at about nine, and it's about four o'clock now. The baby is already changing color. The fa why why he why she was not being buried at this time is that the father has to go to the secretariat to get a death certificate." And he said, oh, there's no need for that now. Let's do it. Let's do it. I said, how? How are you going to do it? And he said, okay, go out if you don't want to see, see me do it. But, uh, you know, as a stubborn child, then I stood, at the, I stood at the door. I stood at the door with my back laid at the door. One, one eye on this side and one eye on the front door. And he prayed. Child. Be healed. I will bring to you an offering. After he prayed, he asked me, What is the name of the child? I send it to your throne. What's the girl name? I said it's in Walata. I'm a living testimony. I give God the glory for keep counting me among the living today. I'm a testimony that the whole world know about through my father, late Ben Sinidahosa. I was sick about two weeks. After the sick, conversion hold me. So I, I, I die. When I die, they kept me inside one room. So my people was crying, weeping. 
about two hours, a bit three hours later, my father come, dance, my leg dancing in the outside. He said, what is happening? He told him that her daughter, their daughter has lost. They said, what happened to her? He said, she was confused. So they tried the, in the ordinary native daughter tried to can raise her back to life. He said, where is her now? He said, she's swimming there. He said, he asked my father the question. He said, daddy, do you believe that the God I serve can raise him, come back to life? My father said yes. So he said they should take him to the room. Then take him to where they, they lie me down. So carry me, they were praying with some of members. As they pray, with God that answered my fire, hear their prayer. I come back to life. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That is how I'm a living so today. And he just stretched his Bible and himself on that child and said, Inuata, I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that has empowered me to raise the dead. Now, come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Inuata, I command you, rise up! I was just peeping. And all of a sudden, the, the child that died at about 9 o'clock sneezed. Another look back to me. After a year and three months in the womb. So, my mother passed through many tribulations before she gave back to me. Many said, maybe I'm not a baby, I'm a wood, I'm this, but for God be thy glory. When they gave back to me, I'm, I'm a human being. And after they gave back to me, the devil, the useless man, raised up his ugly head to take my soul away. Did you know I took to my heels? I couldn't stand, I couldn't wait, and I ran out. <laughs> with him to the mother. He said, please give this child something to eat. And everybody was surprised. Everyone was shocked. Ah, and he just left. And when he left, I, I sat down and I was thinking, what is the thing that made this man to raise this child from the dead? There must be power. Super power. Then I wasn't a child of God. My mother used to serve, um, she was a princess of Olokun, Shango, and all that. And I said, oh, the, the, the power that raised this child from the dead must be a power that surpasses the power of these graven images that has no power. So the father just came and we started celebrating, but he was gone. But in the night I sat and I, I started praying and I said, God, if you were the one that raised that child up, just touch me. I have been hearing messages of salvation from here and there. Even the church I, 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 I used to go then, but I just knelt down and I said, Father, let Jesus come into my heart right now. And I need to know this power that raised this child. And that was all I prayed. I didn't know how to pray salvation prayer. But I just knelt and I said, Father, please, if you were the one that raised this child up, let come into my life and let me act and walk and believe like us. That young man that we call Pastor believed, and he did this. And you know, when I finished prayer, 
there was an abundant joy, unspeakable joy in my spirit. And the following day, uh, we, we used to call him Brother Benson. He came and said, where is the child? He said, the child is there. And I called him to the room and I said, you know what I did last night? I did know. Uh, I, I don't know how to do it, but I just knelt by my bedside and I said, God, if you were the one that raised that child up, let me have a part of that power. He said, ah, you have done it. And I knelt down, he prayed, and I, and I said the, the sinner's prayer, and that was what got me into where I am now. And I'm glad. Okay, because I'm still alive, my father Benson Dalsa is still alive because I'm a living testimony. I'm glad that I, 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 I'm doing what I'm doing now because there was sign, there was wonder, there was, there, there was miracle that got into my heart. Thank God for today I'm alive. I have about eight children, two girls and two boys and six girls. He was a man that did everything by faith. I have about 10 grandchildren to the glory of God. Now I understand the, the type of joy. The Bible said that the joy that no man can give, that is the joy that Jesus gives when you give your life to him. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preacher's pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. 
We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Thank you for taking the time to watch this powerful video of Archbishop Benson Indaosa. Archbishop Benson Indaosa was a charismatic Pentecostal preacher. He is the founder of Church of God Mission International. Archbishop Benson Indaosa was popularly referred to as the father of Pentecostalism in Nigeria. And I'd like you to know that he was also my spiritual father please do not forget to share this video to bless all the people let this video go viral remain blessed hello this video is about Archbishop Bensi Idaosa his early Christian ministry testimony as a young Christian, I once heard my pastor say during a morning service that Christians could raise the dead in the name of the Lord Jesus. I believe it with my, all my heart. And flying around on my bicycle in those days, I went through the city of Benin in Nigeria in search of a dead person to raise to life. After five hours of hard searching, I found a company where a little girl had died a few hours before. The corpse had been cleaned and prepared for burial. I walked boldly to the father of the child. The God whom I serve can bring your baby back to life. I told him, will you permit me to pray for the child and bring her back to life? The man was startled, but he agreed. I walked into the room and up to the bed. The child was cold and dead. With strong faith in the Lord, I called on the Lord to restore the child back to life. I turned to the corpse and called it by name. Arise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to God, the corpse sneezed heavily. Alas, the child had come back to life. God is Bensi Indaosa. Now, Bensi Indaosa childhood. Bensi Indaosa was born in Benin City on September 11, 1938. To a pagan parents. He was a sickly infant who was always fainting. As a result of his constant illness, his father ordered the mother to throw him in the dustbin. When he was 18, year, 18 months old, he was left on a rubbish heap to die. He was rejected by his father, sent to work on the farm as a servant, and was denied education until he was 14 years old. His education was irregular due to the poor financial status of his parents. He later took correspondence course from Britain and United States while working in Bada Shoe Company. His conversion and call to ministry. His conversion was drastic and his calling supernatural. He was converted by Pastor Akos on a football field on one Sunday afternoon while playing soccer with his teammates. Thus, young, ben young Benson became the first Benin member of Pastor Akbar's small congregation. 
As a young convert, he became very zealous in winning souls and in conducting outreaches in villages around Benin City. He was called to the ministry in a night vision from the Lord. I have called you that you might take the gospel around the world in my name, preach the gospel, and I will confirm my words with signs following, said the voice from heaven. The room was filled with the presence of God as Benson fell to his knees before the Lord. Wherever you want me to go, I will go. He prayed through the night, renewing his vows to God and interceding for his people who were yet to hear the message of salvation. After his call, Benson launched into ministry, work preaching from village to village. The gospel of, the, of, of Jesus Christ with great power and anointing, more people confess Christ as their Savior and more healings occur as he prayed for the sick. Expansion of his ministry and his credentials. Archbishop Benson Daosa, the Archbishop himself and the founder of Church of God Mission International Incorporated with his headquarters in Benin City, Nigeria, established over 6,000 churches throughout Nigeria, Ghana before 90, 1971. Many of the ministers he supervised pastored churches of 1,000 to 4,000 people. In addition to filling the position of Archbishop of Church of God Mission, he also he, he was also president of All Nation for Christ Bible Institute, president of Idaosa World Outreach, and president of Faith Medical Center. He had positions in numerous organizations, including the College of Bish or Bishop of the International Communion of Christian Churches and the Ora Robot. Uh, university in Oklahoma. It also earned a diploma in divinity from Christ for the Nation Institute in Dallas, Texas, which he attended in 1971, a doctorate of divinity in 1981 from the World Faith College, New Orleans, and a Doctor of Law degree from Ora Robert University in March 1984. He also received another degree. He also received other degrees from the International University in Brussels, Belgium. Archbishop Benson and his wife Margaret Idaosa were blessed with four children. Idaosa Supreme Tax. So winning was Idaosa primary concern with a motto evangelism our supreme tax. He walked towards his goal of reaching the origin Nigeria, Africa, and the rest of the world with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. As a black African, he found the doors of African countries were wide open and he ministered in over 133 countries, all, 123 countries all over the world. Crusade played a major role in his ministry. He was involved at least one crusade per month. A record crowd of nearly one million people a night attended his Lagos crusade in April 1985. He established the Redemption Television Ministry with a potential viewing audience of 15 million people. What leading gospel minister said about Archbishop Idaosa? According to Mrs. Gordon Frada, Lisa, President of Christ for the Nation Incorporated, Dallas, Texas, USA. I know of no young black in all Africa who is preaching, who is reaching million as Benson is in crusade with hundreds of thousands in attendance in, in, a, in his weekly nationwide telecast, in his Bible school, training eager students from several nations. He also conducted campaigns in Sweden. Singapore, Malaysia, Korea, Australia, and United States, where he often appeared on national religious telecast. His body for souls, his ministry of healing and miracles, even to the raising of several dead, demonstrates he is especially core of the Lord in this end time. Dr. Ben Akosa remarked, Benson Daosa is sought after by everyone in the state, from government officials to beggars. 
way they pose questions and explain their problem to this man, they receive instantaneous miracle solution, just as the people did in Bible days with God's prophet. The people got miraculous answer from, his, from this mighty leader of God's people, said Daniel Oris. Benin City respect and salute this great man of God even at his death. I have been with him on visit to many officials, to the governor, to the powerful Benin tribal kings. He moved with God and his people knows it. His great miracle cathedral, his headquarters sit over 10,000 in 1981. His Bible school attract upper class people from different African nations and also come from Maurice, India, uh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Singapore, Philippines, Hong Kong, Japan, Korea, the Middle East, Europe and other nations of the world. A truly international Bible training center of dynamic faith. People know that Bishop Idaosa preached what he practiced. Dr. Idaosa Evangelistic Ministry has reached nations around the world. He was the first Af black African evangelist to shake Australia in a massive crusade that got national attention. His seminar have affected Christians and church leaders in many countries. I sincerely salute this man because he practiced among his own people what he preached to the world. Bensi Indaosa was a man who believed God's promises and that God's miracle provision applies to African as well as to Americans. He believed that African has a part in God's work and African will reap God's blessing. Evangelist T. S. Bond from Tulsa, Oklahoma remarked, Many who followed Idaosa's teaching have been saved from poverty and have learned to plant out of their des have learned how to plant out of their desperate need and to look to God as their divine source, thereby becoming prosperous Christians in their own land. It also rose from the rank of an ordinary man to a world leader's leadership as a pastor, a builder, a counselor, a prophet, a teacher, uh, an apostle, an evangelist, a man of godly wisdom and of Christ-like compassion which ministry has blessed million, millions the world over. Idaosa was the greatest African ambassador of the apostolic Christian faith to the world. The secret of his success. Idaosa operated in faith. He had a robust faith. He believed and trusted God with a childlike faith. He once said that living a daily life of absolute faith in God is the only secret to great success. He believed God for everything. All things are possible to him that believes. He spent quality times in prayer and in the study of God's word. He said that if someone spent time studying the Bible and acting on it, people will come looking for that person for life solutions. He also, also spent time studying the works and the lives of other successful people, both in the gospel ministry and other faith of human endeavors. And he applied the principles he learned, he learned from these successful people to his life and ministry. He was very energetic, hardworking. One of the ministers who served under him said that he had never seen a man who worked as hard as Archbishop Benson Dowser. He was committed and consistent, and he had confidence in himself. He was very humble and full of godly wisdom. Archbishop Bensi Idaosa was said to be the leader of over 7 million Jesus people worldwide before he went to be with the Lord in February 1998. Now I'm going to talk about his early ministry again. As a youth, he got converted to Christianity by a certain pastor at Paul and joined the flagging congregation as one of the first members. He was very active and converted many to Christianity. After experiencing a revelation from God, calling him into ministry, he began to conduct outreaches 
from village to village before establishing his church in a store in Benin City. Archbishop Bensi Idaosa was well known for many notable quotable quotes, including "My God is not a poor God." Your attitude determines your your attitude determines your altitude. It is more risky not to take risk. I am a possibilitarian. A big head without a big brain is a big load to the neck. If your faith says yes, God cannot say no. Among others, many of these messages on faith, miracle, and prosperity remain a classic among Pentecostal. He had strong links with international gospel ministers like Billy Graham, T.L.S. Bond, Kenneth Hagin, Penny Inn, Ray and Bonke, Maurice Cerullo, Ora Robert, amongst others, and took the gospel to 145 nations in his lifetime. At the time of his death in 1998, he had preached to more white than any black man and to more black than any white man. His desire to meet the need of the total man led him to establish several other arms of the ministry apart from the church. They include Faith, Metaplex, All Nation for Christ Bible Institute, World of Faith, Group of School, Bensi Indaosa University, which is currently under leadership of a son, Reverend E. F. B. Uh, Idaosa. His wife, Margaret uh, Idaosa, is the current Archbishop of the church. It was used by God to perform many miracles, including healing the blinds, raising up 28 people from the dead at different times in his ministry. You must understand this powerful man of God that God used to affect the nation of the world. And I'm glad and privileged that he was my father in the Lord. I am honored to be a part of his anointing, a part of his, of his ministry. I want to ask you, please make sure you share these videos, this video, this particular video to bless all the people and make sure you have enough time to visit Anointed Tube, support Anointed Tube, and let people all over the world around you, your village, your town, your city, your colleagues, your family, your friends, all your contact, get to know about Anointed Tube. So thank you for taking the time to listen to this or, or watch this video. I believe that um, your life can never remain the same because God's servant was such a powerful, powerful, humble, great man of God that God used before he was called to be with him. I, and I'll say it again, I am grateful and I'm privileged to be a son to Archbishop Bensi in the house. The Lord bless you.